Good morning. Myself, Dr. Sinesh Manohatma, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, Gayatri Vidya Parshat College for Degree and PG Courses, Vishkonda, Vishakapatma. So actually, we have so many antenna concepts, okay? So fractal technique, metamaterial techniques, detected ground structures, okay? By using these techniques, we can increase the gain directivity, okay? And we can minimize the antenna size, okay? Uh, so these are the some advantages. We can use also fractal, fractal technique, okay? To get good properties. So one of the technique is metamaterial, okay? So, but so many people are struggling how to design this metamaterial, okay? So, actually, if you want to design a metamaterial, first, I am showing a metamaterial structure that was designed by me, okay? So, here, first I created a rectangular box and I used pocket ports. So, pocket port 1, pocket port 2, okay? And next, I taken a simple substrate. Okay, so HFSS design properties. If you go to design properties, okay, we can change the a value. So if I change the a, then what happens? A equal to ten. I am taking a equal to fifty. Okay, so see the dimensions of this box. The outer box will be changed. Okay. HFSS design properties and I'm I'm taking 10. Now see. Okay. Now move the inward direction. Look at next HFSS design properties. Substrate height. Okay. Here I'm taking 1.6. Suppose if I take 2 mm, then what happens? See. Substrate height will be changes. HFSS design properties. Initially it was 1.6. So like, uh, like that, we can change the copper thickness, okay? And we can change the width of the substrate, okay? And uh, gap of the substrate, we can change everything, okay? So if, if you have this file with you, okay, you can change the substrate and we can change the flucket port movements also, okay? And simply go to here, I symbol, and I am just uh, disappearing the region. Okay, and now see this is the meta material I designed. Okay, simply meta material is nothing but it is also a copper wire. Okay, but it shows uh, negative epsilon and negative nu. Okay, if I see the permittivity, permittivity of the material, permittivity. Okay, so in in this range, some seven to 9 gigahertz range, it has negative epsilon and negative nu, okay? Green wire and red wire. And see the permeability, permeability, okay? So at some point, real value becomes negative, okay, in this region. And from 8 to 9 gigahertz also, it has negative, okay? So one of the things you have to observe in meta material, since some meta materials, only epsilon will be negative and permeability will be positive. Maybe permeability negative and epsilon will be positive. Okay, well, those are called the single negative metamaterial structures. Okay, so for this structure, I got these results. Okay, now if you want to change the structure, okay, now if you want to change the structure, so simply go to sheets. Okay, uh, just delete. Okay, uh, just delete everything. Suppose if you want to design a 10 mm by 10 mm substrate. Go to HFSS design properties and simply change your and keep your dimensions. Okay. Now you want to, you want to design a square shape. Okay. Just take a sheet and I am taking another sheet. Okay. Uh, and I am subtracting both. So just subtract rectangle one and rectangle two. Then automatically some square shape will be formed. It will take some time. Okay. So like that you can design different shapes. 
rectangle one and rectangle two. Okay, and uh, sorry, just united. We just uh, do subtract angle one, rectangle two. Okay, and subtract. Okay, and if you want to do some capacitive effect here. Okay, and take another sheet and keep here and rectangle one, rectangle three. And do subtraction, okay? So automatically, split. We can design a split ring type resonator structure, okay? So like that, you can design any dimensions and any shape, okay? So just I am sharing this link in YouTube, okay? If you want to design a meta material by your own, uh, you can use this HFSS file, okay? Thank you.